I am Anil Kumar, sharing with you questions on permutations and organized counting. Here is question number six. How many four-digit numbers greater than three thousand can be formed using numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, with following conditions: a. with repetition of digits; b. without repetition of digits; c. even numbers without repetition. So let's do a first. We want four-digit numbers greater than three thousand. Let us say these are the four digits, right? Greater than three thousand, and we have to use the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six. That means in the first place we can have numbers three, four, five, six. So here, in the first place, we could have numbers. Let me write down here. Three, four, five, six. Right. So there are only these four numbers which can take the first place. So let's write down four on the top. So we have choice of four numbers. With repetition of digits allowed, that means in the other places we can place any of these digits, which are one, two, three, four, five, six digits. Right. So six. Six and six, multiplying them using the fundamental property of counting, we can find how many four-digit numbers greater than three thousand can be formed from these digits with repetition. Is it okay? So let's multiply and get our answer. So we have four times six times six times six, and that is equal to. Eight sixty-four. Is it okay? So we just multiply these numbers to get our answer. Okay. Now let's do the next one, which is without repetition of digits. So it's kind of similar question, but with a major difference. Now we are not allowed to repeat these digits. So in the thousand place, we can only put one of these four numbers. So still we have only four options. Now, once you put a number here, we cannot place that number anywhere else. So we are left with not six but five numbers. Do you see that? So we have option for putting five out of six, right? We have already put one. So one, two, three, four, five. We have already taken one of them here. Now, once you take two numbers away, then you are left with four choices. And once you take three numbers away from six. You're left with three choices, and therefore, the number of numbers will be four times five times four times three, and that gives you two hundred forty. So, if repetition is not allowed, you cannot use the same number more than once. So, we get much lesser options. The last one here is. Even numbers without repetition. Do you understand? So, condition is: how many four-digit numbers greater than three thousand can be formed using one, two, three, four, five, six without with following condition, which is even numbers without repetition. Right? How do you do this part? Now, think about it. If we have even numbers, that means in these four places. The last could only have even numbers two, four, and six, right? So we could have numbers two, four, and six in the last place. We also have a choice of taking numbers three, four, five, six in the first place, uh, since the number has to be greater than three thousand. Now, and the numbers cannot be repeated. Now it is not that simple that we just put four here, because if I put four here, I really don't know which number has been taken. If a even number has been placed, then that even number cannot come at the end. Is it okay? So in such cases, what happens? That we should actually look for possibilities based on the last digit. So we have three numbers here possible. So we'll make three different scenarios. Is that okay? So three cases. So let the first case be: 
let me see one two three four one two three four and uh, okay we'll use this one as our third case is it okay okay so we can place two in the last digit or we could place four in the last digit or we could place six in the last digit. is it okay so that is our third case so what we are saying here is that this is case number one case number two and case number three now these are all or conditions if you place two right or four or six right so they will add up all these options add up now let's look into the first case if I place two here my choices for the first place are not limited because three four five six does not include two is it okay so I have four choices so let me put four now I have already consumed two numbers out of six so we have one two three four five six since I have taken away two numbers I am left with four and once I take the third one I am left with three numbers right so we have a choice of four times four times three if you multiply these you get 12 times 3 48 right so this gives you 48 in the second case if I place 4 then my choices for the thousand place are limited we have only three choices left right once we have placed these two numbers 6 take away 2 is 4 so the center positions we have options of 4 and 3 as before now 9 times 16 so let's multiply so we have 3 times 4 times 3 times 4 as our answer which is 144 so here get we get 144 I'm sorry 3 times 4 times 3 sorry uh, let's redo it 3 times 4 times 3 here yeah. 36 sorry so the choices are 36 3 times 4 times 3 is it okay now in the last case, if I place 6 here, I cannot place 6 in the first position, so I have choice of 3 numbers. I have placed 2 out of 6, so I am left with 4. Once you place the third one, you are left with 3. So we have 3 times 4 times 3, which is again 36. So for even numbers without repetition, greater than 3000, our answer should be 48 plus 36 plus 36 which is let's add this 36 plus 36 plus 48 which is equals to 120 so there are 120 combinations for part c so 120 is for part c 240 for part b and 36864 for part a but i hope with this you understand how when the conditions change we can Count the number of possibilities by this organized counting. I'm Anil Kumar. If you like my videos, you can put some likes. Feel free to share and subscribe to my videos. Thank you and all the best.